What up everybody, Nero the Hero here, and I just wanted to briefly, well, as quickly as possible, just kind of go over the basic setup for Voice Meter Banana, because it's a really powerful piece of software, and I feel like a lot of people can really gain a lot from utilizing it. So, first thing you're going to want to do, first step of course, is to download and install Voice Meter Banana. I recommend just going with Banana as opposed to just standard Voice Meter. For the simple reason of, as you can see here, voice meter standard is pretty straightforward. It's only got, you know, the hardware, the one and two hardware inputs, the virtual input, and then you've got the mastering here. Whereas if you go to banana, it does look a little more intimidating, but I promise once you get everything figured out and set up correctly, it's it does nothing but help <laughs> so i highly recommend just going with banana and learning that so voice meter banana and mm, a lot of the applications on this website are actually donationware so you can download it and use it free of charge however if you do like it uh, you have the option to donate so that's pretty neat so after you download and install voice meter banana you want to download and install a virtual audio cable now, basically what a virtual audio cable is, it is a virtual audio cable. I mean, just it's a, it's a piece of software that acts as an additional audio driver, which will allow you to assign additional audio sources and isolate them, all that kind of cool stuff. I'll show you this in a minute. And just a last little note before we move on, you want to make sure that after you install both voice meter and the virtual audio cable you want to restart your computer so if you're following along either wait until the video is over or you can go and install it and then restart your computer and then just come back to this point in the video so let's move on to the next step so after you have voice meter banana installed what you're going to want to do is assign your playback devices so what you do here Go into your audio, right click, go to playback. This will pop up. You want to scroll down until you find voice meter input. You want to change that to your default device. Show disabled device. I'm showing disabled devices right now, but that's probably not a good thing to do. But anyways, that aside, yeah, you want to make sure that that has that green check. And then up in recording, you also want to make sure that voice meter output is assigned as your recording device. While you're setting up your recording devices, you also want to make sure that your sample rates match. So right here, I have 441 on my blue snowball and up here in voice meter 441. Perfect. If you have conflicting or different sample rates, that could lead to problems like a corrupted audio stream which will make things sound all garbled and horrible and just really not good so it, it'll increase the likelihood of that happening so you want to make sure you double check make sure that whatever you're using to record it goes for audacity as well you want to make sure 441 perfect good to go now it's time to actually set up your devices in voice meter so you have three hardware inputs here, two virtual inputs, and then you have up to three physical outputs and two virtual outputs. So let's start over here. First, you want to assign your microphone, which I have here, my blue snowball. So basically, the, the whole reason that I got voice meter to begin with is because I didn't like the way the blue snowball sounded on its own. So the reason for assigning, assigning this in voice meter is so you can manipulate it. So you can either increase the volume, decrease the volume, just leave it as is. You can apply a noise gate. Basically what a noise gate is, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a bouncer for your audio signal. So it's basically, you have to be this loud in order to be recognized by the audio software. So you can kind of hear, or as you can see on the voice mirror, there's like ambient noise. It's probably just for my computer fans and stuff. And by slightly increasing this, this will just kind of, this will basically just suppress any kind of background noise when I'm not speaking. Like so. 
So there's one way of eliminating background noise just really quickly. I don't always necessarily recommend a noise gate simply because while you're speaking, it still picks up the background noise. So that kind of background noise will fade in when you're speaking, but then fade out when you're done. Like so. So I like to leave it like that and then just apply light, very light noise reduction in post. That's just me, however. I just wanted to show you guys another option of doing that. So next one over, my next hardware input, this is where your audio cable comes in. So you should have your virtual audio cables installed and it should look like this. If you have just the one, you have this, and if you installed A and B as well, you have that. So you want to assign this cable input, boom, and then once you do that, you also want to go into your communication software of choice, which is, for most people, it's Discord nowadays. So you just want to make sure that you assign that output device to the cable input. Now, the reason you want to do this is because you want to be able to, you want to be able to, the whole reason for voice meter banana is so you have extra control over your audio, be it the inputs or the outputs, the volumes, whatever. So assigning this to the cable input dedicates any audio coming in from Discord as its own audio source. So you can manipulate it individually. You can either, you know, change the volume, you can mute it, you can change whether it, you can hear it in your headphones. This is my, I'll describe that in a second, but basically this is my headphone. This is outputting to my headphones here, A1. B1 is the virtual output, which outputs to my recording software, which would be Audacity, um, Adobe Audition, OBS, what have you. And then the second virtual input is for anything that I want to isolate from my microphone audio, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. So then for the third hardware input, I have just have cable A assigned. I don't have anything assigned to it. Um, I could theoretically assign Discord to one and Skype to another. However, just for the sake of ease, I just have both assigned to this because I, it's not like I have Skype and Discord open at the same time. Anyways, moving along. So voice meter, this is your voice meter output. So voice meter output is, well, this will be either be output or input depending on what you're assigning it to and where. So voice meter output is generally where your system audio is going to play through, unless you assign it to voice meter auxiliary output. Again, this is just an auxiliary, it's an extra channel, an extra audio channel for you to have more control over. And you can control over whether it's left or right, front or rear, um, bass, treble, you can do some light equalization here. It's not incredibly sophisticated, I believe there's more options for that, but you know, I just kind of like to have everything just sort of set, just at the basic settings. And if something doesn't sound right that's coming through your audio, you totally have the option to control the bass or the treble. And if you double click, it'll just go back to default. Same here, double click, go back to default. Boom, there it is. Now, when it comes to your hardware outputs, this is where you actually assign your physical hardware outputs. So these are your headphones, your speakers, what have you. You can have up to three of them. So I just have two of them assigned right now. The first one is, I know there's a lot of options here and it can get confusing. However, as far as which one you should choose, just choose whichever one works the best because it's gonna be different for everybody. I use WDM. That usually yields the best result for me. Speakers um, to USB audio device. That is basically my USB headphones that are just plugged into my computer tower, which is obviously connected to the motherboard, all that good stuff. So I have a couple other devices here. So the other, second device I have here, this is actually the speakers for my display because I just so happen to have speakers in my display. It's it's actually, it's a computer display. It's meant for a PC. It just so happens to have speakers. So it totally works as a TV as well. So that's pretty rad. So I have that assigned as my second. And if I wanted to have another person listen in, like say for example, if I was, I don't know, because I'm a headphone user primarily. So if I were just like playing a game with headphones on, I can assign, I can plug in another set of headphones and then assign that as a third hardware output. And then as far as the virtual outputs, those are just that, the virtual output. So this 
the first one I believe is going to be virtual meter. What's the what's the actual the actual name? The vir voice meter, virtual meter, voice meter input, and then the second one is voice meter input auxiliary or voice meter output auxiliary. Again, it'll depend on what software you're looking at it in. If it's like a recording type of thing, like Audacity here, it will say output. But if it's for obviously your playback, it's gonna say input. So there you go. So let me show you guys. So I have this in Discord, assigned in Discord. So let me show you in Skype. So in Skype, you wanna go into tools, options, audio settings, and boom, cable input. Save that, and now, my lovely assistant Echo will help me test this for you and show you guys how it is coming through. So with the, just in brief view, I have my microphone, my blue snowball, assigned to virtual and output one, and I also have cable output assigned to virtual output one. So those are gonna both come through in Audacity if I have this set up correctly. So, so you can see my voice there and then Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be... Thank you, Echo. So as you can see, this both they both audios come through onto one channel, which is how it should be. However, you may want to record audio on separate channels. And I actually have another video on that, which I'll link in the description below. So no worries there. So that's just kind of like a real, let me stop recording this. So that's just a real basic kind of setup for a voice meter. I'm hoping I didn't miss anything. You probably don't really need to mess with the auxiliary output unless, again, you want to have just additional isolation. If you use something like Shadowplay or OBS, generally, what will Shadowplay? You're... Shadowplay will automatically grab the system audio. So usually you don't have to do anything really, but I, yeah, that might change with various updates to the software. So it's it's constantly getting updated. So there's that. I'll probably be putting together a video soon to show you guys how to set it up in Shadowplay. However, again, like I said, Shadowplay can be a little finicky sometimes. Usually I just use Shadowplay purely for recording game footage because it's really the most efficient way for me to do it since I have an NVIDIA GPU, or two rather. And yeah, so then I will just usually record my audio in Audacity or Adobe Audition. So. I highly recommend just doing it that way as opposed to just trying to have your microphone audio come in through Shadowplay because Shadowplay will automatically grab your game audio no matter what. And I'm actually using Shadowplay right now to record this video, so I apologize if the audio compression is a little weird, by the way. Anyways guys, I'm starting to ramble now. Just kind of wanted to show you just kind of the basics of setting up voice meter and setting it up with your communication software. And I'm still kind of figuring out OBS because there's just, it's just dealing with other sources. It's dealing with sources here and then you're dealing with sources in OBS too. So once I have that squared away in my brain, I will share with you guys what I have learned. So I'm gonna get out of here now. Um, if you guys found this video useful, let me know in the comments below and also let me know if I missed anything. Let me know if you've discovered anything using voice meter or if you've never used voice meter before. Let me know if you do end up trying it and what you think. So I'm going to get out of here now, you guys, for real. So until then, take care of yourselves and each other. Do something heroic today and demand something better in gaming. Always. This is Near the Hero signing out. Peace.